I, I like that we finish strong. Um, you know, you take a look at our last four games. Um, you know, I guess we went one, one, and two. You know, and uh, they were tight games. There it was playoff hockey, and uh, you know, it was last weekend on the road um, to maybe who the best team in the country is right now in, in Minnesota State, Mankato. Um, and, you know, they were just good hockey. Right. We, we had some dicey moments there. In overtime, we had to kill off a two-minute. Uh, we had to kill off a two-minute power play. Um, we had to kill one off a four on three and the three on three, and our guys did that. So I, I look at little things like that as, you know, really, you know, from the guy standpoint, for, from the coaching staff standpoint, is that's a big positive, and that those were gutty performances, and you want to see those types of type of gutty performances going into the playoffs this, this weekend. Obviously, again, it's your typical four or five matchup. Probably the two teams, uh, you know, of, of the eight teams who are in the playoffs, the four or five matchups always the most interesting. It's always the tightest and. Um, on paper, that is, and uh, you know, and that's what we're expecting this weekend. First off, they got a good hockey team. They got good. They got they, they got good speed. Um, I like their depth. I like their defensemen. Um, you know, and no, it's just it's just it's your typical team that's pretty darn deep. Their team that knows how to win too. Take a look at the success they've had the, you know, the last few years. It's so. going to be a real tight weekend. Um, we got to try and limit our mistakes because um, other teams are. The other team's going to capitalize on mistakes. We, we will as well. Um, and last last weekend when we split with them, or last time we were in tech for Winter Carnival, I think we had a good weekend against them. Um, Friday we obviously played better and got the win, but uh, yeah, it should be really fun. Yeah, um, the atmosphere last year um, when we won the McNaughton and you know had that uh, home ice advantage throughout the playoffs was huge, and you could kind of feel it in the city, and you know definitely feel it in the locker room and. Um, the leaks, the the weeks leading up to you know the series, it was, it was just electric in in the building here in practice and everything. And the boys are fired up to be playing at home in front of all the Bemidji fans. And um, no, it's going to be fun. I think all, especially this week, getting to stay at home, that's a big advantage. So it's uh, you know it's very good to have that home home ice advantage. So. I mean, every team's going to have their switch. I mean, honestly, I think we hit it last weekend when we were down in Mankato. Um, that was a big series. It was playoff hockey and. For anyone who kind of watched that series, both teams were battling back and forth, and there were chances going, you know, which either way. And it was they were two electric games. I think that really prepared us for the atmosphere that we're going to have here in the building, and um, just the type of hockey that we need to play in order to have success. And especially in the playoffs, it's a whole different animal. So.